Uh, we're continuing to follow along as former Alameda Research Chief Executive Officer Caroline Ellison uh, enters her third day on the stand in the criminal fraud trial against her ex-boyfriend, FTX co-founder Sam Bankman Freed. Uh, Ellison on Wednesday uh, detailed how she worked with Bankman Freed to lie about the health of Alameda and FTX and, uh, and deceive lenders and customers. Uh, she uh, testified that she falsified Alameda's balance sheets at the direction of Bankman Freed uh, to conceal that the firm was taking in large sums of money from FTX customers. Um, Allison said uh, when the uh, FTX empire finally came crashing down in November 2022, it was a worst week of my life, uh, but that she felt a sense of relief that, that she no longer had a mind. Uh, here are some stories to catch up on Wednesday's testimony. FTX bribes, uh, dating diary, false records, Ellison testimony. Um, Caroline Ellison says uh, Sam was the one who caused FTX collapse. Uh, uh, here's a lace from court in an audio clip of the November 9th, 2022 meeting played by the defense. The attendee told Ellison, I'm sure this is not that fun for you. I mean, it was kind of fun, she replied. The jury listened intently whenever the recordings were played. After that, the prosecution briefly questioned BlackFi CEO Zach Prince, whose company was bailed out by FTX in the summer of 2022. As the crypto lender struggled during the ARK market downturn in digital assets, the company filed for bankruptcy near the end of November following FTX's collapse. When Prince walked into the courtroom, uh, Bamp and Freed raised his head to take a look. For most of the day, Bank and Freed had typed at his laptop at Times wrote at this time on post-it notes. Uh, court proceedings have ended for today. Um, Prince uh, will return to the stand Friday, which is scheduled to be a half day. And audio clips played to the jury from the November 9th, 2022 Alameda all hands meeting uh, days before the company filed for bankruptcy, uh, Ellison spoke about the firm's troubles. Uh, her tone was calm, uh, similar to how she sounded on the witness stand. Um, and uh, the basic story here is that starting last year, Alameda was kind of borrowing a bunch of money uh, via open term loans and used that to make various illiquid investments. Uh, and she said on the tape, uh, they may side to house with so the 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 trip to Turner Morton demotion and had a fan like individual history, but did not display confident body language uh, in fences about uh, Ellison's statement uh, that FTX was attempting to raise funds uh, to fill the hole in its balance sheet. Um, uh, generally, when a company raises money, it's about exciting future growth and not to fill a hole in the balance sheet, he said on the tape that in court. Ellison was heard laughing nervously. Uh, Drappy said she did that quite often. Uh, uh, Drappy testified he resigned within 24 hours of the meeting. Uh, prosecutors called their next witness, Christian Drappy, a former software engineer who began working at Alameda in May 2021 and wrote code to support Alameda's trading. Uh, at the close of prosecutors' redirect questioning, she said that at one point she told uh, Bankman Fried she wanted to quit, and he rebuffed her. Uh, she, uh, he said, I couldn't, I was too important to Alameda, and I should stay at Alameda. Uh, Ellison said, uh, and uh, she said she did resign because I, I trusted his opinion, um, and I, I, I did want FTX and Alameda to collapse, and, and if he thought my resigning would do that, um, I was I was a community for I I, I see alone, and uh, uh, prosecutors asked Ellison more questions about the meeting on redirect. Uh, she said the Alameda employees were upset about her wrongdoing, uh, but were grateful uh, she had been uh, open and honesty with them. I never liked misleading my employees, she said. 
I felt really bad about them, but I felt trapped in the summer of 22. The CAGP said uh, that she hasn't spoken to Bankman Fry and Gary Wong or Nishad Singh uh, since mid-November 2022. Uh, her testimony is, uh, is finished and the proceedings will resume after the break. As a press exam came to a close, uh, Cohen asked Ellison about a meeting with Alameda employees where she said that the firm was likely to wind down. Uh, she said she wrote to Bankman Fry before the meeting uh, saying that there was no pressure on him to participate, but if you do want to help uh, with stuff like this, making sure lenders get repaid, uh, I'd appreciate it. And, uh, and Ellison said that she put a lot of thought into what to say at the meeting. A lot of employees had been asking me about what was going on or what the implications was for them, Ellison said. Uh, I was hoping that some might stay, but if my goal was to get them to stay, I would have asked them to stay. My goal was to inform Alameda employees what had been going on and what the implications were. Were you admitting wrongdoing to the employees, Cohen asked. Yes, I was, Ellison said. Uh, after the meeting, Ellison told Alameda executives in a signal chat uh, that she uh, had spoken to the employees uh, and thought it had gone well. Um, uh, Ellison's testimony is now finished and the court has taken a short break. Um, and the, the defense revisited a list of things that, that Bank and Fried was freaking out about. Um, and the defense questioned her about an item on the list that uh, said NBS, a reference to Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Uh, uh, he told me he went to the Middle East and, uh, and tried to raise funds there, uh, but it didn't sound like he had success. Uh, Ellison said Thursday, uh, uh, in earlier testimony, Ellison discussed how Bankman Freed met with potential investors in the Middle East. Uh, uh, Ellison said the, uh, the net asset value on all of the seven spreadsheets um, was the same, but that she wasn't as concerned as much about that figure as she was about how Summer Bones had, um, had put money into illiquid investments. And uh, the number was so large, it might look like uh, Alameda was giving or following money to FTX executives. She said Thursday, on Wednesday, Ellison testified that uh, Alameda had borrowed around $10 billion from FTX and had loaned around $5 billion to FTX executives and affiliated entities. After the lunch break, Ellison testified about how she was worried about Alameda's lenders recalling loans in June 2022. Uh, and she discussed this period during her testimony on Wednesday when she talked about preparing seven different spreadsheets under Bankman Freed's direction that showed Alameda's balance sheet, including its loans to FTX executives and how much it had borrowed from FTX. I don't recall if we discussed all of them. I know we discussed some. Ellison said of the seven different spreadsheets on Thursday. Uh, the court went into the lunch break with Ellison uh, appearing more relaxed. Then in previous days, uh, as jurors left the room, she stood up and put both her hands on her hips. This differs from her postures earlier in the week when she looked more restrained. Ellison discussed working with San Trabuco prior to his departure from Alameda and how their inexperience contributed to Alameda's problems. And uh, even if you for me said uh, the limiting factors in scaling uh, the defense uh, landed a small victory uh, and its questioning of Ellison related to legacy FTX customers continuing to wire money to Alameda bank accounts uh, even after the exchange got its own account. Uh, Ellison says she suggested to Bankman Freed in a signal chat they stop those transfers. Yeah, that, that sounds good. She says he re she recalled, um, you know, telling prosecutors that 
it seemed like he might not know that was happening, helping the defense poke a hole in the idea that Bankman Freed was always calling in the shots in Alameda. Ellison says uh, uh, there was a discussion of a Chinese wall. Cohen's words, though, Ellison has used the phrase in the past between Alameda and FTX and whether there should have been more separation between the two, such as separate word spaces. Uh, prior to FTX's collapse, uh, she told Wooberg uh, in an interview uh, that the exchange in Alameda uh, were completely uh, walled off, of, and I can't take it. We definitely have a Chinese wall in terms of information sharing to ensure that no one in Alameda would get customer information from FTX or anything like that or any sort of special treatment from FTX, uh, she said at the time. It's very important for FTX to be perceived as a fair, neutral marketplace where everyone gets on equal shots. In response to Cohen's questioning Thursday, she testified that Alameda's ability to borrow FTX customer funds for its own trading was an improper advantage and put customers at risk of losing money, uh, especially when the funds were used for venture investments. There was a risk that the investments would go down or go to zero. She said, uh, Bank and Fried's attorney, uh, Mark Cohen, tells Judge Lewis Kaplan uh, that his goal is to finish questioning Ellison Thursday, but it could spill over into Friday. Uh, Cohen then turns to a new topic, the company's terms of service, and um, then a letter filed to the court docket during the cross-examination. Uh, Bankman Fried's lawyers told uh, the judge they wanted to cross-examine witnesses uh, about their understanding of FTX's terms of service. Uh, in the letter, Cohen challenged the government's position that the use of FTX funds for Alameda investments constituted theft under U.S. law and said the defense hoped to argue the transfers were permitted under the exchange's customer agreement, which is governed by U.K. law. Uh, Cohen asked Kaplan to uh, reconsider uh, a previous ruling barring expert testimony uh, on the subject by London trial lawyer Lawrence Aka, who intends to testify that uh, under UK law, FTX essential uh, court up company of this time uh, uh, affordable law because they plan to put going out uh, above about Mark Ellison testifies that she didn't know about government uh, investigations into FTX and Alameda until sometime after a November all hands meeting. Uh, um, she left Hong Kong and returned to her parents' home uh, in the U.S., um, which was searched by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Um, my boyfriend was there uh, as well, and my mom's cleaner. She says, Allison says that the FBI seized computers belonging to her mother and her new boyfriend, who will also work at Alameda and FTX. Uh, uh, she says he had a series of meetings with the government in December, uh, each lasting a few hours. Allison pleaded guilty to criminal charges and entered into a cooperation agreement with prosecutors that month. Uh, she said that she likely had more than 20 meetings uh, with prosecutors, including one that lasted three to four hours on Monday. Uh, Bankman Fry's defense lawyer asked questions that try to show how communication between the pair broke down after they split up. Uh, she said that she had difficulty having one-on-one -on -one conversations with Bankman Fried after that. Uh, um, try to avoid those and avoid spending much time in social settings. She said, uh, we talk sometimes outside of work. He still lived in the same apartment, so it's hard to avoid that uh, entirely. However, she reiterated her testimony from Wednesday saying they continued to have business conversations over the messaging app um, uh, signal. The defense pivots to questions about Ellison's former co-CEO, Sam uh, Trabupo, Bankman Freed's friend from math camp in college. Ellison described him as good under pressure and good at handling extreme trading situations. Ellison was more focused on areas like uh, strategy and operations. Uh, it Trabuco announced in August 2022 that he was stepping down from his position to prioritize other things. He purchased a yacht named Soap My Deck. Uh, Ellison, however, said he stopped coming into the office and handling his job uh, in late 2021. Uh, and after roll to her, she said, 
Allison testified that she and Bank and Free discussed adding another co-CEO when Tribuco stepped down. But Allison didn't think the possible candidate happened to make sense. That the defense in an attempt to bolster the argument that Ellison, not Bank and Freed, was in charge at Alameda, asks if there were times when he was absent from its daily operations. There were periods of time when he wasn't paying attention to Alameda or interacting with the firm's executives, she said. And Bank and Fred has for months suggested that his ex-girlfriend was primarily responsible for Alameda's borrowing and that his mistake was failing the supervisor and paying closer attention to what's happening. He's denied knowingly committing any crimes. Uh, here's a reminder of who's who at FTX and Alameda. Uh, Cohen begins questioning Ellison um, about her views on Bankman Freed, who she described as ambitious and a hard worker, as well as other members of his former inner circle, includes FTX co-founder Gary Wayne, and the company's former director of engineering, Nishit Singh. Both have pleaded guilty for the role in the alleged scheme and are cooperating with prosecutors in the case against Bankman Fried. Wong testified before Ellison. Ellison said Bankman Fried took risks uh, she wouldn't have, uh, including starting FTX, which she thought was a bad idea at the time. Uh, the exchange was founded in 2019 and was once valued at $32 billion. Uh, uh, Ellison said she thought he would have a difficult time attracting customers and that it would be a waste of time. Uh, she also agreed that she and Bank of Fried uh, has different ways of handling stress. Uh, after previously testifying about how uh, taxing her role at Alameda could be, um, but Ellison in a uh, wine-colored dress and dark blazer is... Uh, is in the courtroom. She's standing as the jurors enter. Uh, Bank and Fried's attorney, Mark Cohen, uh, picks up questioning, uh, asking about the names and purposes of different Alameda bank accounts.